Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of R&R. It was our anniversary yesterday. Or today. I think. What? What was our anniversary? 519. Okay, what's today? 18, 2020? Okay. Yes. 520. And guys, we're, we're going to Kennywood. We're going to Kennywood Park. We took off this Friday. I wanted to go to the music park. Where I wouldn't be a lot of people there because it's a weekday. And it's raining. But that's okay because what's the top soon? We're going to we're gonna go to the music park. But it's raining. But that's okay. That's okay because that's okay. Nobody's gonna be at the music park. She's losing her mind. What'd you say? Nothing. That's okay. I mean, I packed summer outfits. I didn't pack rain outfits. So that's okay. That's okay. It's raining. <laughs> Plus, this hotel that we had, the breakfast sucked. Breakfast sucked. It sucked. It sucked. So suck. you about to go get me some real breakfast? No. no. Huh? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. All right, guys, we're in Kennywood. Yeah, we're at Kennywood. It just stopped raining. It's 11:30. You know, I like to be on time. I wanted to get here at 11, but it was raining, so we decided to get something to eat really quick. And now we're here, and I'm surprised at how many people are here. But this is the park so far. This is the steel curtain and I can't wait to get on it. So the first ride we got on was Skyrocket. It's a launch coaster that takes you from 0 to 50 miles per hour in under 3 seconds. And we thought the ride was just okay. It was pretty smooth though. These little drops at the end of the ride were cool though. Next we got on the steel curtain, which I really wanted to get on. And I realized it's named after the Pittsburgh Steelers. This ride set a few records too. The tallest roller coaster in Pennsylvania. The North American record for most inversions and the world record for the tallest inversion at 197 feet above ground. And I was able to get a lot of footage of this ride. It's easily visible throughout the park and seems like it's the park's main attraction. Robbie really liked this ride too, but it was a bit too much for me. It was pretty forceful. It kind of took away from the enjoyment of it for me. And it had one of the slowest lift hills. It was so slow, I started to get scared while I was on it because we, <laughs> we were taking so long to get to the top. And these nice people wanted to say hi. We also got on the Ghost Wood Estate, which was pretty boring. It's basically an indoor coaster where you shoot targets, which are the ghosts. And uh, Robbie had the highest score. And I'm going to play a little video for you from inside the ride. I will provide you with a transportation buggy and a ghost blaster. Oh, this is the boat. Your job is to blast as many spirits as possible to help me regain my solitude. Then we got on the Thunderbolt, which was my second favorite ride there. As soon as you leave the station, there's a drop that I wasn't expecting. And it was fun. It kind of set the tone for the whole ride. To me, the coaster was like full of surprises. And fun fact, it was named the ultimate roller coaster and king of coaster by the New York Times in 1974, which was a while back, but you get it. Last but not least is my favorite coaster there, Phantom's Revenge. It was also Robbie's favorite, but this ride had a lot of air time and it felt like I was going to fly out of my seat. And it's the fastest roller coaster in Pennsylvania, reaching 85 miles per hour. It also has a 232 foot drop, and we also got on the Racer and Exterminator. Both were fun, but I didn't get any footage of them, so I didn't want to talk about them in the video. And to end our day, we went to Paige's Dairy Market, which is supposed to be one of the best ice cream shops in the country. So we just got the ice cream. I got the Turtlet Arctic Swirl, and you got the... Drumstick Arctic Swirl. Arctic Swirl. This is a size. We both got size small. They fill them up a lot. So that's good. How it tastes? 